This is Jordan Tower with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. I hope you guys are having a great day. Let's get right into the news. We got Mace. Uh, Mace weighs in with MREC. That's my guy right there. They weighs in on the TI and 50 Cent thing. Now, TI is out here looking kind of desperate for this 50 Cent versus, okay? When Mace made a great point, a better versus for TI, right, might be Rick Ross, okay? They have both have very... Uh, big impact on the south okay ti started in what 2002 2003 he really started in 2001 that record failed okay then he came out with uh i think the i'm serious did bad and then he came out with trap music which was that worked for him found himself on that album and he continued to go 50 Cent arrived in around 2003. Of course, he was around in 1999, 2000, 98. But he arrived in 2003 with Get Rich or Die Trying. And, you know, certain records age differently. But in that time period, 50 Cent obviously made a bigger impact. Mace kept uh, stressing impact. Mace's impact on the game was huge in the 90s especially because there was no independence out there really it was all commercial and mace really controlled commercial rap i mean you know there was only a few people that could make it around that time and mace w had the money you know mace had the, the the building behind him you needed the building behind you in the 90s it was very few artists in the 90s compared to now or compared to even the 2000s okay so he says that rick ross and ti would be a better matchup because they make the same kind of music and they're both from the south uh 50 cent would probably he said 50 cent would probably win that because he's from new york I don't know if 50 Cent would win it because, you know, you're going to get a lot of people that maybe gravitate more towards T.I.'s records. T.I. stayed active longer than 50. 50 kind of moved, shifted into um, television and stuff around 07 to 09. He was in between. He was doing both. And then after 2010, he was going full-fledged into TV and uh, film. And this is where he's at today. Um T.I. was doing kind of the same, but he wasn't taking control of the TV and film. Like, 50 was more also behind the scenes and everything. T.I. was more just acting. Um, T.I. and 50 make different music. T.I. Uh, 50 Cent and T.I. are both lyrical and everything. And uh, I got to agree with Mace. I think Rick Ross would be a better matchup. Rick Ross is also lyrical. T.I. is also lyrical. They have about the same number of albums. But T.I. would win that to me because he had just certain records were just too big. Like the Rihanna record, um, Live Your Life, you know, for the Live Your Life. He had the Eminem record. Um, he had the the whole album that went with the movie for, uh, for the ATL movie. That was huge. If I was to sit down right now, and who am I going to listen to? I'd probably listen to T.I., I'm going to be honest with you, you know. Now, he also weighed in on the Jadakiss and Fab battle. Uh, I agree with MREC and also with Mace on this that Jadakiss pretty much ran that one. Uh, you know, it, it was just kind of obvious that Jadakiss kind of controlled that moment. Uh, he did bring up, I like that MREC brought this up, he brought up uh, Fabulous versus Mace. That would be hilarious because the whole thing with Fabulous when he first got in the game in 2001 is that he's copying Mace. Remember, Mace left the game and came kept coming back in and out that's what i hated about mace's career mace was so big 97 98 99 maybe 96 97 98 99 and then he just left and then he came back and he was totally different and it wasn't that great even though mace is incredible as an artist times changed i don't know it's like mace is lyrically there he gives us a record here and there once in a while but you know, even since the Cameron thing that happened, what, four years ago or three or four years ago, he promised some music and never came with it. You know, that's kind of typical with Mace that he like promises things to come and they don't come. You know, 50 Cent said it a long time ago when he was trying to get Mace from Diddy and bring him onto G Unit right when he had signed Mob Deep and he had signed MOP and everybody. He wanted to bring Mace over there too. He's in the Window Shopper video and he wanted to, be, but. Did he wanted two million dollars 
50 cents said Mace isn't worth $2 million with $2 million in his pocket. He was kind of right. Mace had lost a lot of momentum that had to be picked up. Anyways, interesting perspective from Mace. Um, I appreciate you guys. I hope you guys are having a good day today. Make sure you protect your energy. Stay positive out here and know that anything is possible. And don't, don't let anybody tell you that something isn't possible. It is possible. I hope you guys are having a great day. I appreciate you guys listening to me. Uh, shout out to Mason M. Rec for this. And uh, I will check you guys on the next one. I'm going to go handle something. I'll be right back with some more news. This is Jordan Tower with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button. Smash that subscribe button. I'll check you guys on the next one. Peace.